Hello everyone. Today we will make a script that creates four relations from selected rooms. It will also rename views, apply a view template, generate sheets with applied names and numbers, and also place these elevations on sheets in a 0, 0 coordinate. For today we need to use two extra packages, which are ArcuLab and Rhythm. This script won't eliminate all manual work, but it could significantly assist with some general tasks, such as creating views, sheets, or renaming. Let's get started. As this script executes many simultaneous tasks, we would split it into groups accordingly. So let's start with select model elements by category node, so that we are able to select rooms for which we want to create elevations. Then we need to center selected rooms, so the new elevation markers would locate in the room center. Let's create a group and call it Get Rooms. Now search for Create Elevation Marker and Create Elevation Marker Index from Rhythm Panel. Also search for room.location node and double click to create a code block. Type down 96, which is a default scale factor for elevation markers. Search for view family type node. This is where we select the elevation type we want to use. Connect elevation markers to elevation marker index node and search for document.current node to access the current project. Then get document.active view, which means that to run the script we need to be in one of the existing views, like a plan for example. After that, we need to specify the number of elevations we want to create on each side of elevation mark. Because we need four elevations, double click and type down 0, double dot, 3, which is a sequence from 0 to 3 with a step of 1. Select all new nodes and create a group. Let's give it different color and call it Create Elevations. Let's also get room name and room number nodes, which we would use later to generate names for elevations and sheets. Every time you create a new elevation, it automatically adds A, B, C or D to the end of its name. Search for element.name and string.land nodes. Then double click and type down A minus 1 semicolon and on the next row 0 semicolon. Get string.remove node and connect element1 to count, element2 to start index and element.name node to string. The reason why we are doing this is because we want to remove all characters from the name of the elevation and only leave last one which would be A, B, C or D letter. Double click and type down 1, double dot, 4, semicolon, then on the next row, double quotes, A, double dot, double quotes, D, semicolon. Search for string from object node and connect element 1. Now search for dictionary by case values node and connect string from object node to values and element 2 from code block to case. What we did now is we assigned each letter from A to D a number from 1 to 4. For example, A is equal 1 or C is equal 3. Type down dictionary value at key and connect our dictionary and string.remove node. So now, every time an elevation is created, its suffix would be changed from letters A, B, C or D to 1, 2, 3 and 4 accordingly. Now let's combine new elevation names. Search for plus node, then go back to the beginning of the script where we left room name and number nodes. Double click and time down double quotes dash plus A plus double quotes dash plus B semicolon. Create a group and name it get room name and number. Now connect the code block to the plus node which we did earlier. That way, our relations would have a suffix with a number from 1 to 4, then room number and a room name separated by dash. Search for set parameter by name node and connect the plus node to value. Double click and type double quotes view name 
and connect it to parameter name, then go to Elevation Marker Index node and connect it to Element. Let's separate it into groups as well to make it more clear. Create a group and name it Set Elevation Name and second group with Building New Elevation Name. Next task is to assign a specified view templates to these elevations. Search for Set View Template node and connect element from set parameter node to view. Then get view templates node, which has a drop down list of all available view templates in the project. Now, final part is to generate sheets and place new views on them. Search for by name number title block views locations node. Make sure you select the one for multiple views and locations. If you go back to the room name and number nodes, connect them to sheet name and sheet number. That way, our sheets would be created with a name and a number based on the selected rows. Connect set view template node with views and search for title block types, which gives us all available title block families in the project. Now we need to specify the location of where the views would appear on the sheet. Search for point by coordinates node, which has a default value of 0, 0. We also need to make sure that we specify a point for each view which we supply for sheets. To do that, we need to get list.count node to get the total number of views. However, if let's say we select just 5 rooms, we would have a list of 5 with 4 sub-elements per room, but the list.count node would only give us a value of 5. For that reason, we need to click on greater sign and tick box use levels. We will automatically place it at second level, which we would need and give us a number of 20. Now we need to search for list dot of repeated item, so we can provide the required number of repeated points and connect it to the location's input. Let's also create a few more groups, such as set view template and create sheets and place elevation views. And the graph is now done, now we need to specify inputs for Dino player. Right click on Select Model Elements by Category node and choose Is Input and do the same for View Family Types, View Templates and Title Block Types nodes. After that, just save the script and open Dino player. Once the script is launched, we start with selecting the rooms. However, as you can see, we can't select anything. That's because we didn't specify the category selection node. Let's get back to the graph itself. Click on the drop-down menu and specify rooms. After that, just save and the Dynam player should update accordingly. If you try to select, you would see that you can select rooms now. Specify the title block, which you want to use for new sheets. In my case, I use standard A1 size. After that, select the view template, which you want to apply for new elevations. I just use standard from sample project template. Same goes for the view family types. After you press run, you would see the new elevations being created with the crop boundaries being set to the room boundaries. If you see the text saying that run completed with warnings, one of the reasons might be because we didn't change the scaling modeling range in Dynamo. To fix that, go to Dynamo, Preferences, General and Geometry Scaling and change it from medium to extra large. If you go down on the project browser, you could see all new sheets being created and renamed according to the selected rooms. You would also see all elevations placed, so you won't need to search for them in the project browser, also renamed and with applied view template. And now all what's left is to position them however you want. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.